Hey everybody, this is Tom from Elevation Every Weekend. Uh, right now we're going to review the Yakima Bike Bar Truck Bed Bike Mount Rack. This is the midsize version at 66 inches in width, mounted on my 2018 Toyota Tacoma. They do sell a full size version, which is wider at 78 inches, and we're going to get into it right now. I've owned this bike rack for a full year, um, and I'm uh, going to go over some of the reasons why I chose this other, other styles um, and how it's been. So here is a better look at it. Uh, it mounts, uh, we'll get up in there in a minute. Um, you can see there right now there's two mounting points, one here, one here, these are for bikes. And we'll get into the details on those in a, sh in a little bit here. Um, but uh, right there and on this side right here are the actual mounts uh, for the rack. Um, it does mount on top of the frame rail, which means if you have a Tano cover, um, you can't run it with a Tano cover. I do have a Tano uh, that I do use from time to time, and I swap it in and out. Um, but on the upside, it is super sturdy, like the whole truck is shaking. Um, I've never had any issues uh, with it coming loose. Um, I've done thousands, literally thousands of miles with this bike rack. Um, I've driven it across country with bikes on it. Um, it's always been great, but let's give you a quick view. So here's one of the bikes. This is my cross bike. Um, I use it more as a road bike. It has the, uh, the you know, the standard uh, uh, spacing on the, the, the bike, road bike axle. Um, here is my full suspension mountain bike. Um, it is a boost spaced fork. So that is a uh, 110 millimeter, sorry, spacing in the front. This one is my Hardtail 29er. It is traditional non-boost, which is a 100 millimeter wide fork. Um, so you do need to know that for reasons we'll get into in a few minutes. I also ride this bike frequently, the fat bike, Surly Pugsley. Uh, currently, I do not have a way to run this uh, bike on the bike rack. Um, so I'm just throwing it in the back right now. Um, we are working on uh, some options for that, which we'll get into down the road when we uh, solve that issue. So this Tacoma does have a hitch, it does have the tow package. Um, prior to this, I was running a Jeep Wrangler, which also had uh, a hitch, and I was running a traditional hitch route mount bike rack for that, which was more appropriate. Um, it actually worked really well, came up right behind the spare tire on that vehicle. Uh, when I went to the truck, um, I didn't want to use the hitch mount rack just because it's already a longer wheelbase vehicle, and I didn't want, you know, more, uh, bikes hanging off the, the back, making the truck even longer than it already is, especially when I get into off-roading and, and things like that. Uh, so the opportunity was to start looking at bed options. Um, briefly considered uh, the bed mat, uh, the tailgate mat, um, just didn't really care for it and wanted something a little more secure and something that was fully enclosed inside the truck bed. So that's how I ended up with this. Um, did some research, uh, seemed to review well, seemed to be a good option, seemed to be fairly versatile, and it has a measure of security. Um, things can only be so secure, um, but there are a number of features to this that do uh, not only make it uh, rock solid for the bikes, which I wanted, I didn't want bikes moving around, shifting around, rubbing, things like that, um, but it, uh, a, a good option for security and for uh, you keep the bike uh, off the paint, you're not rubbing uh, the paint of the vehicle or the bike itself, which I you know, would have concerns about other types of things like the, uh, uh, the tailgate um, mat versions. Um, we'll, we'll mount some bikes up here in a minute so you can just see it, um, what it actually looks like. But first we'll hop up in here and take a closer look. So to install this, it's a really easy setup. Um, once it comes out of the box, you just kind of need to set it for your, uh, the width of your specific bed. Um, I have the full-fledged uh, track system, stock Toyota track system, um, and it mounts perfectly fine with that. It, it is uh, actually right in front of it, um, and it's clamps underneath. So you set it, and then once you get it sized in place, um, you set the tension with these here. And then um, it's a clamp that actually puts the final tension on it, so you get it close with this. And then when you clamp it down with this, it actually, uh, you know, locks it down. Again, it's rock solid, and it is locking. So it locks here, and this one on this side, exactly the same, also has a lock. So these here are the actual mounts uh, where the bikes mount. 
Um, they are also adjustable. You can put them anywhere you want. Um, you could even mount a third one. You could easily mount three in a midsize truck, easily mount three uh, uh, road bikes. Um, I've even had three mountain bikes in here, only two secured. Um, had the kiddo's bike, that little uh, truck right there uh, in between. But um, I'm confident uh, with a third rack, a third mounting point, uh, you could easily mount three mountain bikes. Right now, I have it set uh, where they are for two reasons. One, I wanted my handlebars to be inside the uh, um, you know, the pattern of the truck so they not to extend out past the mirrors. And two, I wanted to uh, line the bike up so when it's mounted, that is the rear tire actually sits inside of here. So it gives a little security for the tire here. And then sometimes I will run a bungee, uh, just a rubber bungee from this over the tire and secure it on the other side. And the bikes uh, for around town never move anyways, but for longer trips, I will secure them uh, just to make sure uh, that they don't, that they're not moving around. So I did want to take time and show you real quick a couple things about the actual mount. And I do have the key here. The lock is on the side. And it's just tensioner, so it just relaxes and it's loose. And then you can adjust the actual width here. And that's how you uh, set for how much tension you are want to have on, on the bike. Uh, for a standard road bike, uh, you can mount it just, the bike goes directly in there. You can clamp it back up and lock it. So for a road bike or uh, a non uh, through axle uh, mountain bike, uh, you can mount it in here directly and lock it. Unfortunately, for through axle bikes, you need these adapters uh, uh, for, for the through axles. And then you have to have, you have to account for standard 100 millimeter width or the 110 millimeter uh, width for boost, uh, which is, that's one of the drawbacks about this system is if you are using mountain bikes with through axles, you have to have an adapter. Um, but I've been using them again for. Uh, a year on both those bikes um, and they, they've been great. You lose the ability to lock it though. Uh, when the bike's in here, it's locked here, but the bike is not locked into place. Uh, so that is one disadvantage. I still uh, on occasion will have one of my cable locks with me and I'll lock it you know, to the truck itself, the frame to the truck. So uh, that, that's always an option, but um, that's basically how it works. Okay, now I'm just going to show you real quick uh, how to mount up one of the bikes. This is my Hardtail 29er. It does have a through axle, non-boost. This is where I have the non-boost through axle adapter. So all you need to do is remove the front wheel. And then I've gotten the habit of just sitting here on the frame rail and it'll uh, makes it pretty easy. You just get it lined up, screw it back in. They do uh, give you a warning in right here. This is not the over tighten eight foot pound torque max. I just usually get it quick and that's it. Bike is mounted up. A couple things you do wanna uh, take note of. It does ride above uh, the height of the cab, probably about a foot. So I would not try to drive out of my garage with it on there. Um, just doing this uh, for demonstration purposes. Um, but you can see it is mounted up. The uh, rear tire is in the slot, like I mentioned earlier. And like I said, it does not go anywhere um, driving around town. Um, but on a long trip, I would uh, secure it with a bungee strap but you can get a look at it. And uh, I also have the, you can adjust uh, the positioning of the mount. You can adjust it fore and aft a little bit and then, you know, cinch it down in place. I have these adjusted. They're at a slight angle if you look, but I have them adjusted. So when I close the tailgate, the rear tire is just touching right there. So it's also just helps secure the bike. 
uh, keeps it from it's not going anywhere left to right up or down um, you know it is totally secure and uh, it's been great like I said thousands of miles proven um, I've had it you know mountain biking off-road um, they don't go anywhere so just to recap, uh, in over a year of use, it's been solid. I typically keep it on all the time unless I have my uh, tonneau cover on and I only use that for a specific use, a weekend trip, things like that. Otherwise it's on uh, all the time, year round, exposed to weather. Uh, there's no, uh, no issues with thrust, corrosion, uh, no issues with any of the moving parts or connections. Everything works just like new. It's rock solid. Um, I think a couple of the pros is uh, I like the aesthetics of it. Um, I think it looks cool. I think it's important, it's important to me at least, that um, my bikes are contained within the inside of the truck, the bed. Um, I like that. Um, uh, about the only downsides are a couple things with security. So uh, having to use the adapters with the mountain bikes is kind of a hassle. Um, but, you know, it's been fine. Uh, I still haven't figured out a solution for my fat bike, but uh, I think there's some, idea, there's some ideas I've been looking at that I think might work. Um, some third-party things that I found that might uh, mount to it, uh, more of a clamping system that uh, where I could clamp the bike, um, and they may even be adaptable for the uh, the mountain bikes as well. So I can you know remove these all together uh, and just go a different route. Those are really the only cons. Uh, overall, it's it's been a great unit. Uh, it's on Amazon right now for about two hundred twenty-nine dollars. Uh, I'll drop a link down down below. Um, I think I paid about two fifty for it. Uh, over a year ago, um, so I think the price has come down a little bit, but uh, definitely check it out. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And I'm um, happy to let you know what I think and to answer any questions. All right, guys, I think that wraps it up on this. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. I'll answer all the questions I can. Any comments, any suggestions, I'm happy to hear those, especially if you have any ideas about mounting a fat bike uh, to one of these racks. Um, I have a lot more content coming, uh, gear reviews, outdoors, uh, obviously bike related content, lots of tips and, and other things, maintenance, things like that, uh, lots of trail stuff. I'm going to try to get out and show you uh, a bunch of stuff in Colorado and then they're going to start working on this truck too, so lots of truck content coming as well if that's something you're interested in. Thanks and have a great day.